Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me once again here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and we have just basically proclaimed the United States of America dead as a country as we establish or re-establish ourselves as the true American leaders. So right now, I'm taking a look at the type of divisions that we have here. Now, I've, been I've looked this up several times, but the training time for militia takes about 40 days which is very good however I've been told that you might just want to make revolutionary continental army divisions which takes tw three times as long but is quite a bit better now if it doesn't go as well as planned then you probably won't see this video but if you do great so then you'll learn from me and my mistakes go ahead and add on yeah, as many as you can get right now uh, reinforcements yeah we're definitely gonna need those right now uh, we did have a thing set to building a fuel silo but mm, honestly I'm not really worried about that right now though I'm gonna go ahead and build something in Wisconsin because that's pretty far away from the border Illinois yeah build some more military factories in Illinois and then Ohio because they got 70% infrastructure compared to Indiana and Michigan free I have a dockyard oh I have one in Philadelphia um actually Cool. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, this is not too bad then. At least we have 400 planes of bombers and fighters. That's not bad. We'll do that. Pennsylvania, one in Illinois. That's actually very well. We'll split off. That's actually really good. Free dockyards. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much useless doing this. Interwar cruiser hull. Interwar cruiser hull. Um. I mean, it's really there's really no point for even me to make this. So, honestly, hold on, let's get rid of some of the stuff. Converted it, carrier hull. Oh, you're the lightest. We don't want you. We don't want you. I only want the best. And by the numbers, it looks like one of these two are the best. So we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. And down here, these are some big numbers. Let's get rid of that. Improved Dreadnought hull. Enter War Dreadnought. Pre Veldkrieg Dreadnought. Pre Veldkrieg. Uh, honestly, probably I'm just going to get rid of all these and just start fresh. Uh, but right now, we could probably use some convoys more than anything else. And this is an interwar cruiser, light cruiser hull. So that's good to know. Uh, can only go to Pennsylvania. And I did decide that we will choose the People's Liberation Army because I love, love, love superior firepower so much. So in my opinion, it's still the best. Probably followed behind uh, lightning warfare or mobile warfare doctrine. But I really want industrial warfare because we're going to need to produce, 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 and use the hell out of our artillery. So we're going to go with People's Liberation Army. So right now all we're making are guns. We have a single, oh god, single factory. Oh no. Uh, we will need some artillery. We will need a lot of artillery. Put you at the bottom. Definitely build as many guns as humanly possible. Put this above here. Put that on three. Put that on two. Motorized? I'll make one motorized if needed. All right, let's take a quick look. I am picking up right where we left off last time. So, okay, so we have, that is an extremely worrisome number of factories. But, uh, here's something that I had to decide on what I had to do uh, for our military. So we will have a ton of militia divisions, but I'll look up a couple guides, and you probably want to get the militia divisions that uh, spawn the most right now. So we have six from Indiana, Illinois from 16, 16 from Illinois, 10 from Michigan, which isn't bad, Ohio's 13, which isn't bad, Pennsylvania has 19, which is the most. So, let's go ahead and grab Illinois first, because I want to set up the western border first, and then the Pennsylvania borders, followed probably by Ohio. And you can only do one of these at a time, which really, in my opinion, sucks. Alright, can we please get some more factories? Because I am I only have one. Hey, but let's go. Oh, ooh, I did not know if this would uh, actually spawn around. So, we have the Pacific States of America here. Hopefully, they don't join the regular U.S., I really hope they don't. Uh, let's see, you guys, social Dem the Democratic Party, social conservatives, the American Union state, which is probably my biggest concern at the moment. Uh, we have a few more numbers. They obviously have double our military factories, and they got probably a few more divisions than we do. Standoff in America, as a tense standoff has erupted in the U.S., as democratically ele elected President Huey Long fled to the city of New Orleans after being forcibly removed from his position by General Douglas MacArthur. Uh, they basically declared MacArthur's government illegitimate, 
as well as northern supporters of syndicalist Jack Reed, based in Chicago, and the Pacific governors under the leadership of Governor Frank Merriam. Very cool. Second Civil War, Boogaloo, here we go. Oh, they, they still have elections. Do we have elections? Oh, we do have elections as well. And uh, this is obviously a tyrant. You know, we can hate the American Union State as much as we want, but at least the Southerners know that they have to have elections. The Pacific people know that, but the tyrant Douglas MacArthur does not. And there's something over here, but I didn't catch that. Oh, riots in New England. In recent days, syndicalist militias have been struggling and failing to take control of New England states. From New York all the way up to the coast of Maine. So far, governors in the region have clamped down hard on the violence, though the result has been a series of violent riots in Boston and Buffalo, not to mention a wave of uprisings still going on within New York City itself. Citizens are on edge, and governors have denied the federal government permission to raise local militias in the area, fearing, fearful of increasing tensions further. A, new, a few New England governors are reported to quietly asking the Canadian government to intervene and should worse come to worse. Oh boy. This is very interesting. Oh yes, even less stability. Because in America, the thing we hate more than our PP pee, pee is stability. Very cool. Ugh. Awesome. So I just really want to make sure that we have at least have a good front line before anything goes wrong. Uh, yeah, please, can you get these factories out now? Like... There's a reason why I chose to combine syndicates of America. You are the steel belts. You are the producers of the world. <gasps> yes. Yes. I knew this would happen. Syndicalists take control of Minnesota, but we also have control of West Virginia. Violence by syndicalist militia groups expanded to the city of Minneapolis and the surrounding region with blockades erected on roads and the Minneapolis airport reportedly invaded by several armed groups. Before the violence could expand, the governor of Minnesota declared the state's allegiance to Jack Reed's cause and ordered the state National Guard to stand down. So we are here. We don't have that. Uh, I was actually going to look at resources because we get 208 steel and we took that away from the normal United States. Wow, they have a lot of tungsten. The South has no steel, but they will probably get Tennessee, so they have a crap ton of oil. We have like no oil. You know, I was going to say, Indiana's pretty bad at only producing one oil. That's even worse than West Virginia. It's probably because they have coal, but... You know, Wisconsin and Minnesota, they make up for that. They definitely make up for that. With their massive steel deposits. And... Oh, God dang, we only have one more. Illinois General Assembly invites the IWW. Yes, that's actually where I got my thumbnail picture from. The International... I don't, I don't know what the name is. The IWW, that's all I know. Uh, the state legislature of Illinois has invited the IWW to discuss the current crisis and the looming deadline issued by the federal government. Jack Reed accepted this offer and held an informal meeting with several trade union leaders prior. Reed made it clear that the situation was dire and the SBA would need to unite behind the IWW in order to survive the coming conflict. This silent agreement meant that the traditional SBA leadership would be reorganized along industrial unionist lines with each union representative allowed a single vote. The SBA immediately and unanimously pledged their support for a social revolution through direct action, not diplomacy. Ah, love it. Equality for all of us. Mandatory equality. The Second International Congress. Our British comrades have confirmed their readiness to host the Second International Congress in London. It is time for the combined syndicates to uh, confirm its participation. Nah, we don't, we don't like you. Wow, that would really kill us. I mean, we didn't have stability before, but Jesus. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to attend. Yeah. And North, declare, North Carolina declares support for Huey Long. Uh, responding to mounting pressures from militia groups in Charlotte, the governor of New North Carolina de declared that the state would join these those aligned with Huey Long. While there are reports of rioting breaking out in several cities, most of the state appears to support the governor's decision, and already federal forces are pulling out of the region before they find themselves overwhelmed. That's actually... Good for us to a degree, even though it makes Long stronger. Uh, if we can take this part of Missouri, which actually I've been through before, it's kind of weird. It's a very awkward place. But if we can take that, then we can just focus on the East Coast and just crush everyone this way. Alright, what's next? God, June 11th. I think something's going to fire before June 11th. Long as militias take control of Tennessee. God dang it. Oh my gosh, that's even a thicker south. I love it, but I kind of... Uh, I'm a little worried. Conflicting reports of battles between syndicalists and longest militias throughout the state of Tennessee were resolved today when longest militias stormed the state legislature in Nashville. Governor Gordon Browning was taken prisoner, and while federal forces fought for control over the cities, it quickly became clear that the militias have a clear advantage. Already, federal forces are withdrawing from the state, conceding control to Huey Long's supporters. God. Oh, this is not good. Oh, they even have building a navy. 
Oh, I went with my People's Liberation Army, so. And you went with US... Oh, they went with the Navy as well. And then they went with Battleship Development. God dang it. So we basically played the United States the entire time. And gave them a functioning... God damn it. Air Force. Damn it. Can I get another state, please? I got Minnesota, and I guess technically I got West Virginia. But I want something more. Can I get Kentucky? I'll take Kentucky. I'll, you know, I'll take Iowa. If I get Iowa, that'd actually be pretty cool. Chilean Argentinian War, no one cares. The real stuff is going on here. Yeah, I don't want Iowa. I want Kentucky. Actually, I've been told that Kentucky is actually an extremely important state to get. So, Federalist Victorious in... Oh, no. The battle between Syndicalist militias in New York City all the way down into New Jersey has ended with Federal forces declaring victory. Already the leaders of Syndicalist militias are being rounded up and imprisoned, although many have vanished into urban areas with lingering reports of violence still going on. Fierce forces loyal to the federal government are con concentrating on securing the eastern seaborne and securing the border with neighboring Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness, that's not good. What's next, though? We have a single division, while the United States has quite a few, and we have very little. So, Central Committee Directive 25, appointing a leader of the revolutionary military. The Central Committee has released a directive to appoint a member to the Chief of Staff of the... and... of the what? Chief of Staff of the... and guide the whole revolution revolutionary military to victory against all reactionary capitalist and counter-revolutionary forces. Who are we choosing? Smedley Butler, who I love, who gives us more special forces attack and defense. Wow. Special forces capacity multiplier, but we don't have any special forces. For God's sake, all we have is Reed's own. And even them, they're less than half strength. Oh my goodness. Uh, Maurice Rose, which actually gives you pretty good motorized and mechanized boosts, but I'm probably going to go with Oliver Law, just because he's got Chief of Staff, School Psychology, Division Organization plus 10%, and Division Recovery Rate plus 10%. Uh, let's see, this is Revolutionary Military. Huh. Upton Sinclair, Ralph Chaplin, Elizabeth Gurley Flynn. Yeah, I'm going to choose him just because this means all of our divisions get this boost, so that's actually good. Since I really have no tanks, no motorized units at all, so... Um, preparing hopefully for the best way possible. Jack Reed declares the April Revolution. In the Illinois General Assembly, Reed delivered, Reed delivered a fiery broadcast describing the wealth of America and the syndicates, declaring that direct action against capitalist society was a vital necessity for all Americans and that the federal government's deadline must not only be ignored, it must be defied. Telegrams from the Third International poured in to support Reed's SPA. What, Reed's? Who's Reed? It's Reed, right? Exciting the attendance, a vote was called to begin reforming the American capitalist economy into an anarcho-syndicalist economy. Well, we'll see how long that stays here. Because I've got goals. Equality goals. Radical equality goals. <clears throat> this referendum, signed by the attendance, declared the Federal Reserve null and void. The IWW was appointed the labor chamber for the new syndicalist government and the selling of company shares declared illegal. The representatives, satisfied with their, su their success, or the er Oh my gosh, we need to proofread this stuff. Have returned to Chicago to organize the armed revolution. E pluribus unum. <clears throat> and we have revolutionary militias. We get less division organization, but better recovery rate and less planning speed. Oh my gosh. The 1937 Spartacade. Very cool. This first Spartacade's opening ceremony was held in Edinburgh and attended by dignitaries and athletes from around the socialist world. The British team carried the torch, the French team the hammer, and the other teams carried the piece of the cog of the location where they will be assembled. When placed together, they form the international symbol of syndicalism. Cool, so we got a bunch of militias here from Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh, these are not very good, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, They're, they are militia. Planning speed, that's good. Chance Oliver Law is actually pretty good. He's got some recon, so I'm going to give him that. Nice, so what a glorious day for the working man. And since we have this... Um... From what I know, from what it looks or appears like at the moment, I'm going to actually keep you in Chicago. Because I'm going to use Reed's own as a kind of special force unit, I suppose. I mean, they're not really good right now. But they're our only infantry division. And then, but these guys, they're actually militia. Oh, wait, they're not only militias. You have even worse infantry stats. Actually, which one's worse? Probably this one's worse. Let's see. Let's take a quick comparison. So. The one on the left is a militia, the one on the right is the regular garrison. Same speed, this has less HP, so this can't take as many attacks. This has more organization though. Uh, this has worse recovery rate, this has worse suppression, but doesn't matter. This uses a little bit more supplies. Obviously it's a smaller combat width. It has 
actually it actually has some sort of piercing. Breakthrough is actually not as good. The defense is a little bit worse. Soft attack is 25% better. Hard attack is a little better. So overall, even with fewer divisions, infantry is just better than militia, but we will have to use militia regardless. So right now, Wisconsin has six. That sucks. West Virginia only has four. 13 in Ohio, which is pretty good. Five in Minnesota, which is okay. Not great. Michigan's not bad. Indi Indiana has six, but Illinois has 16. So we're going to do that one next. Yeah. And Illinois and Pennsylvania are going to be the main forces within this, especially. but then I'll add in Michigan and Ohio. So that'll be extremely important as well. Uh, guys, do you have 33 divisions? That's not terrible. Central Committee Directive 53, appointing a leader of the Revolutionary Army. The Central Committee has released a directive to appoint a member to be the head of the Revolutionary Army and guide the army to victory. The Central Committee has to appoint who? Let's see, for this, Benjamin Katine... He is a guy, he's one of the generals that is a leader of the Union. So he gives us daily army XP, which is extremely good, in my opinion. Organization loss when moving is okay, and better planning speed. Hans Amli gives you more division organization and better supply consumption. And Louis Secundi. So that's more mechanized mobile warfare stuff. So we're not going to choose him. Hans is actually not bad. I like the supply consumption, but I really like that division organization, especially since that'll go against revolutionary militia. Actually, let's take a look at this. Right now, land night attack. Anything else here? Planning speed, half. Drenchment speed, da da da. What was that? Experienced soldiers lost. Supply grace, out of supply. Uh, Reinforced it's slightly better than normal. Uh, I'm probably going to go with this just because uh, I want that daily army XP. You know what? Honestly, maybe I won't go with them. Maybe I'll go with Hans Amli because even though this gives you daily army XP. By the end of the war, or even even midway through the war, we can start changing our division template because we'll be fighting so much, so many land battles that it won't even matter. So I'm going to go with more division organization and supply consumption, or better than supply consumption. So it completes, basically nerfs uh, the division organization debuff from revolutionary militia. So we've got plus 10% from each of these guys. Not bad. Really not bad. And I've been told to make synthetic refineries, but obviously that's not going to happen anytime soon. And actually, can I... These are mul... Oh, CSA resistance. That's cool. Uh, motorized division. There's so many different types of divisions here. Loyalist garrisons. M heavy, heavy... This is heavy cavalry? Those look like tanks to me. National Guard militia division. Well, don't we have... Loyalist militia. That's better, but... I can't... Oh, so I can't train these. Okay, that's fine. So these are the divisions I can't train, which is fine by me. Revolutionary Continental Army. Oh, boy. All right, so Central Committee Directive 103, appointing a leader of the Revolutionary Air Force. And who will it be? Bert Acosta. So that gives you 8th generation chance, plus 10%, which is actually pretty good. Paradrop attack, which we won't use, or paradrop defense. And agility, which we won't use, so that's not really good for us. Eddie August Schneider. Air superiority, interception attack. Stuff that blah, blah, blah. Air superiority, plus 10%. Or Pancho Barnes. Chief of Air Battlefield Support Doctrine. Well, which way do we want to go? Well, we want to go with Battlefield... Oh, no, Operational Integrity. So, this is not really worth it. So, we'll go with Eddie August Schneider. So, we get some more air superiority. And Deadline Looms. As the federal government's deadline looms, it's become clear that there will be no budging on either side. Time for coffee. Uh, across the part of the country controlled by Reed supporters, militias have been raised in large numbers, and the growing determination to see the country remade in a syndicalist image by force has taken hold. Ooh, the federal government in turn has also made declared they see no path to compromise. Does anyone have any factories? Do you have two? You have eight, and you have one. And that, they only have eight because they also have New, New England. So, also, if you haven't noticed, I have lowered my in-game volume by like eight. So, or no, my outside game of volume. So you, you should hear, you should hear this a little bit less. And, the, oh no. I didn't have enough time! I declared war on the Pacific States of America as well as the U.S., and America. Okay, good, 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 thank god, okay. Wait, our request for military access has been accepted by Mexico? Uh, one thing you have to watch out for is if Canada goes authoritarian, because then if they do, they might kill you. So. Ah, stability, very good. So, god save the king. Uh, please don't go authoritarian, or I might have to restart this. Lend lease from the Union of Britain? Sure, why not? Oh! Okay, so we have... Okay, we got some more factories, guys. We got more factories. Thank the Lord. 
We're going to get a lot of these. I'm going to get a lot of, our, of that as well. Guns. We're just going to need so many guns. Uh, this is actually not too bad. I don't mind doing this for support equipment. But just give me all the guns you freaking got. I need my divisions now, guys. Like, I don't know what you're thinking. I'm going to start manually controlling this just because there's areas along... You want to get to this river, I've been told, so that you can just kind of dig in when you get there. So it's actually not too bad. Actually, I want you to go this way. You go here, take out Bismarck, and then stop. You guys get to here, and then stop. Go to Pierre. Go right there. And we will basically not be able to do very much else. Because I don't have any of these divisions yet. It takes another five freaking days. Oh no, I can get completely invaded by... Okay, so we got more equipment, which is good. But I have... I I can't defend. I can't defend. Alright, Reeds. Uh, you're coming down to Indiana, because there's like no one <laughs> there's no one guarding Indiana. I'll have to completely uh, defective. Oh, four militia units. Oh, that's good. That's really good, actually. Uh, let's see. Four more militia units. Come up here. I need you to guard against New Jersey. Jersey Devils. That's cool. Um, you're going to defend, so I need you. Cool. And you are 18 combat, with, which is fine. Okay, so the outcome of the Spartacade, uh, not enough for, not enough for the team to be the winner. That's fine. Oh, and we get some volunteers. Good. Canada seizes New England. In response to the outbreak of civil war in America, Canadian forces have marched into New England and seized control of the entirely lightly defended region. While they claim this is in the interest of safeguarding innocent lives from the spread of chaos, more cynical members of our government suggest the Canadians are guarding their weak eastern flank in preparation for a possible war that combines against of America should it prove victorious. Either way, it is clear that Canada has no interest in consulting the, either the American government or its people, and our sovereignty has been utterly violated. Yeah, I'll respond later. I don't have enough divisions for this goddamn front line here as is, so... Okay, so the Red Witches. Gender equality has been a long been a major ideological component of socialist thought, and we have yet more evidence that it works. A squadron of female pilots have earned renown throughout the CSA for their dar daring raids on enemy territory, the controlled or coordinated and synchronized attack for formations, allowing them to take down larger enemy air forces with ease. Uh, Dorisifly, being called the White Red Witches by the reactionary forces under Huey Long, the squadron led by Florence Pancho Barnes has taken their new nickname up with great pride. Very cool. Uh, get over here, Illinois supporters. Get over here, boys and girls. Actually, if I could take out New Newark, that'd be awesome. That'd be fine with me. Uh, cool. Oh, we've already engaged some American, regular American divisions. Seriously. Uh, second international. Very cool. And we've divided the American government. Oh, boy. Yeah, don't do that. I don't want you to get surrounded. Oh, God, they are coming in. And it looks like we can't actually move over there. Okay, then. The Socialist Republic of Italy wants to help me out. That's fine. Uh, we can't break through here, unfortunately, just yet. Hemingway's speech, day three. With American questions settled, Ernest Hemingway, the syndicate's delegate to the Congress, took the stage. He thanked all those who supported the CSA's cause and caused on, called on the socialist world to constantly battle the reactionaries. The speech, was, the speech was received with great applause, especially by the French delegation. Oh, cool. More political power. Uh, let's see. Push on the front. So if we do this, we get attack bonus and defense against certain, uh, certain factions within the United States. We have low stability, but what I've been told, or what I looked up, oh, what is this? Daily political power could be really good, but you want to go with total mobilization as fast as possible to get more factories. So I'm probably going to do that first and then switch to something else. Oh, they're attacking us. Oh, that's not good. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay, so we got a couple more divisions here. Um, uh, that's not good, though. I'm going to have to reorganize this. You will be under who? Cannon looks like a good guy. Put you both under him. That'll be better, probably. I just want a really good organized line. And let's see. Uh, six militia divisions, 10, 5, 13. We, I need full control of West Virginia to get those divisions. So obviously we're going to do Michigan. Just be, where is Michigan? There it is. Because it has, wait. No, we're doing Ohio because it has 13. Cool. Yeah. And obviously you'll be under Smedley, but... Butler. 
Butler. Yeah, boy. Oh, New England's here. Very cool. Yeah, boy. New England's here. All right, so go ahead and defend the line if you can. And, yeah, that's not bad. Canada sees Alaska. That's fine. I'm not really concerned about Alaska at the moment. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do go ahead and do one of these. Just because we are already on the federal front, and I need some more, uh, I need a greater ability to win here. If you guys could cut these guys off, that'd be great. End of the Spartacade, that's fine. Oh god, they are already kind of pushing in. Go ahead and work your way around. Oh god, you guys are going to get cut off, aren't you? Go ahead and, not you, retreat to Ohio. Uh, oh god, this is not good. Just go ahead and retreat. I don't mind if you lose the battle. I don't want to lose you as a soldier, though. Central Committee Directive 10. Regulation governing the redistribution of material assets. Interesting. Actually, you come down here. Cut off that federal division. So now that the revolution has begun, we must decide what should be done with the bourgeoisie. The IWW proclaim we confiscate all the wealth and redistribute it to the people immediately. The up-and-coming vanguard has called for their immediate arrest and execution as well, citing the fate of Vladimir Lenin as an example of revolution defeated by leniency. SPA members belonging to the depreciated AFL, along with several loyal progressives, have sought life over death, asking the Central Committee to only expro expropriate what is necessary for war and keeping the materialist cons constitutions happy. I can't read today. Ooh. Their wealth and lives are ours. Totalism, syndicalism, let's, oh god. We may need these moderates in the future. Oh my goodness, minus 10% war support. Mm. Baby, give me everything. Hmm. Seriously, I need you to, like, leave. Mexican assistance arrives, nice. Thank you, Mexico. Very cool. Uh, you know what? This isn't going as well as I wanted it to, so National Guard Militia, I'm not going to train you. Well, maybe I will. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to, because I need divisions out now. And eventually, I can reconvert divisions later. So, train you guys. Put you on low, since you guys just aren't training anything. Alright. Not bad. We have made a first encirclement. Get those Federals out of here. Cool, and we are getting attacked already. Uh, that's fine. Go ahead and move over here. This is just very concerning to me right now. Oh my gosh, you're about to cut us off. Holy cow. Come on. Actually, we take this piece. They already are starving, kind of. And the Union of Britain's here to help out. God dang it, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. Oh, so terrible. Why don't they love the revolution? Seriously, why? how are they able to push in so hard already? That makes no sense to me. They have too many divisions, man. Too many divisions. Come on, French people, I need your help. I'm going to lose these two divisions already. God dang it. Ugh, so bad. Yep. Oh, he's already wounded. Wow. They've already taken out Pennsylvania. This is not going well at all. Uh Yeah. Final act of the Second International Congress. That's fine. British assistance arrives. We get another civilian factory. Well, it's not exactly what I really need. Good. Now kill these people off. Oh, you didn't hear that from me. Um, cool. Army experience. Good. That's good. And, hmm, artillery support. Industrial warfare. Yeah, I need, a, I need my research slots. Oh, baby. Send you this way. Because I can't afford to get cut off. I just cannot. Yeah, I think the American federal side probably has too many divisions, honestly. Because they're not beating up the American Union state at all. Actually, they're... That's kind of ridiculous. It's a little redonkulous. A little bit not super bueno. But what can you do about it? All you... Oh, and at least there's a civil war in Spain. But that's what I'm going to leave here for today. Because right now, the federals are kicking my booty. And it's not very much fun. So... With that in mind, guys, we have taken quite a few losses. Actually, this is very surprising. But anyways, uh, Spain is now in their own civil war, and we will resume tomorrow. So with that in mind, guys, 
thank you very much for watching. We are struggling early on with the CSA because of the lack of divisions. Um, yeah, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.